myself not knowing he's in it. I suppose it's scary guy I played, I, I couldn't have scared Larry Bibby away anyway. So, uh, that, that's the thing. Uh, Sankey, it was snowing quite heavily there, and one day he saw his teacher, they, he, you know, they had a teacher, and she was a very broad beamed, rather mean looking lady, and he hated her guts. <laughs> he came to me and he, he has a tiny little fat ass and he said, would, would you make me a snowball and put a big rock in it? How do you do it? He said, no, no, I just want the big hard snowball with a rock in it. And, and the, her car came up and she, she always, which she knew, she always opened the door and she backed out. He said, you better have it. Oh, he doesn't believe that. <laughs> I played the Gestapo guy who chases the effeminate wardrobe man. They, we're going to arrest all the uh, homosexuals. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I chase them in, and then I find that they're trying to cover up the ones I get mad and I, I close them and see them. <laughs> yes, yes, that's what I'm doing. You're very small. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Brandon, do you have a real fine speaking voice for a tone from your craft? I haven't right now on the name of my ear you do. You're fine, I imagine, with accent. Have you done?